Let's check in on our friend, old Elon. Elon, how are you? I am doing well, Bart. How are you? I am doing very well. This is called the Tesla Model D trade. D stands for, you know, dollar bills, y'all. Let's take a look at the Tesla. They were having a tough day. You know, when steering wheels start falling off of your car, you're going to have a tough day, I think. Down $7.07 for the day. I'm trying to find some lows of the day. 180.52. So let's just take a look. I was thinking about making a risque. Why are you going to do risky? I'm going to make a risky trade on the Tesla. Uh, sell a put. Expiring March 10th. That's only two days away. Right here at 175. So it's only a, it's a 25 Delta. So that's, oh, it ticked at 24. That's our limit. You better get in on this. Better get in on that. It's at a buck seven, buck 38 right there. Buck 39. Let's see what we can collect on the Tesla. Because my plan would be if we need to wheel this because of the high volatility, we will wheel it. But I, don't think it's going to hit 175 by the end of Friday, but it could be at 100 for all I know. It's just another guess made into the atmosphere trying to make a living. It's actually not a living, is it, Bart? No, it's not. But, you know, it's like testing making a living. It keeps going up while you're talking and it's costing you dollar bills. Let's go back to it. See what you're doing there. It's a fight. Oh, it's a big green candle up. It is a fight to the finish with 39, 39 minutes left in the trading day. And are we going back down on the seesaw here on the Tesla? 180.88. So our premium keeps going down two factors obviously one the stock is currently going up even though it's down today by over three and a half percent and then the other of course every minute that ticks by on the time decay would improve this position and the probability of pro profit the chance of profit right there which stands at close to 70 nine percent but when we began this video what we, we were like at a buck 38 and now we're at a buck 30. And it's now gone over, nope, just it's tried to go over a dollar 81 a share. There it is. It's now over a dollar 81. Hey, that would have been a really good trade, right? When you, if you would have made it instead of babbled. Hey, wait, it's going, must be getting a little red, a little red action. Nope, still green. Still green. And Bart, you're lulling me to sleep by not making this trade. Okay, now it's going back down. Here we go falling knife or is it a falling dirty diaper let's find out see if we can't catch i don't know buck 35 on this 135 dollars on the cash secured put Ooh, didn't fill right away it, there it is there's 135 dollars now i know don't look at that number <laughs> that's a lot of that's a very low amount of money to put in your pocket for this high of a risk. And the only risk to this collateral is if Elon, all of his steering wheels fall off of all of his cars simultaneously and the stock goes down to zero. That is where the real risk would be, right? Is if we uh, the stock crashed, the company went bankrupt and it became worthless. I don't think that's going to happen. And it's kind of a play just for entertainment purposes for myself because I do like to entertain myself on these option trades and you know reviewing and researching these stocks and these companies and reading through their reports. Tesla is a very strong company and I know it trades at a huge multiple, but it is a it's a serious growth company still. They don't pay a dividend, so we try to force that dividend by collecting premium. And if it does continue to fall. Okay, through the next two days, and I'm put these shares at $175. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't go down too much further than that 175 strike. So then we could immediately turn around and sell some covered calls to collect this premium as well. Because again, uh, look at the 182.5, 182.50. 
Oh, wait, we got to go to call. So call, you're at well over 1% return just on that premium for a, it would be only a two-day contract. So say we were put the shares and we had to go out another week, nine days out, we were put the shares at the 175 and we tried to come back here and sell them at the 182.50. Now, of course, this would be a different premium at that point because the share price would be at at 175 or under. But just to give you an example of the volatility uh, on these Teslas, it's almost 60%, uh, but in big healthy premiums in order to sell those calls and to sell those puts like we just did. We collected $135 on a trade that ha still has a high probability of profit, right? It's still at nearly 78% chance of profit, probability of profit, uh, even though we, we could have collected more dollar bills because it keeps going down. So right now, if you if you did this trade, you'd collect $143 on one contract, but you'd have to cough up that $17,500 collateral. You'd have to cough up the collateral. What's the SPY doing? Let's take a look. SPY is at 397.05.07.08. So we've been real comfortable all day in the trade we opened the day with, which was the credit spread on SPY. And it's showing us at 100% profit, $44. It was four contracts. We made $11 per contract. So we're going to be five for five to, to start the week. And then also down here, you know, I was looking at a couple of things like, for instance, this AbV call it doesn't have a whole lot of dollar bills left in it. And we could we could try to roll that out and even down because look what AbbVie is doing. Why is AbbVie doing that? Is there a reason? Because we might want to sell some calls on that number, you know? Hmm. Is there a reason for the season? Let's go over here and look at the AbbV and see if there's any news that we can see right now that would cause us to shake our heads in disgust because AbbV is a great company. They have a nice premium. Uh, they got three greens on the performance outlook, but and they also have my favorite product for all of the people that love to inject botulism into their face in order to create that pancake like look. And that is the Botox. And you know what's going to happen because the younger and younger people are getting involved in the vanity because of one reason and one reason only, and that is social media. Drum roll, please. Wah, wah, wah. You know, I'm, I go to the gym and I see these young girls, and this is not being mean. This is just being, you know, as a father of two girls, they've mentioned weird things like this before where I'm like, no, you're not doing it. Don't even think about it. But I see girls walking around the gym with those puffed up duck lips and like incredibly long fake eyelashes and hair extensions and all kinds of stuff. And these are young, gorgeous girls. And I'm like, what are you doing? As a dad, it breaks my heart. But it's happening and it's going to continue to happen. And, you know, the older they get, the more botulism they're going to need. And that's not that's just one of the products that AbV has. They're a great company, right? So I don't know why it's falling, but I'm falling in love with you. 15 dividend zombies. <laughs> I'll read that later. I love those fun, fun headlines. Let's look at what kind of premium action we'd have on the AB V as far as selling puts would be concerned. Let's look at the AB V right here. Now, you know what, while we're up, we've got pretty much dead money, dead man walking with this call right here, only about $4 left. So let's roll it, rolling, 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 and just see what the premium would be. It's not going to be great because AbV is down so low. So you know what, maybe we'll let that ride and then watch AbV tick up over the next couple of days, uh, possibly just let that expire at full profit. 
while we make a play on AbV on the put side. Let's just take a look. Let's take a look at me now. Let's take a live look on the AbV. Okay, so we got uh, some pretty, pretty good. You see how much the percentage has changed on these. So these are up 400%, 340% on these these puts. So let's go out a week, though, just to give some breathing room. So nine days out, give this a little bit of breathing room. And if we look at this number right here at 148, okay, it's a, still a 70% probability. It's on a, a an asset on a company that we like, AbV. They pay a, diff, a decent divvy, right? They pay that um, nearly 4% dividend they've paid it forever they're dividend kings they're in the royalty aren't they and so the worst case scenario is you you have to buy these for 148 dollars which would cost me fourteen thousand five eight fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars right but we'd collect 143 dollars so that's nearly one percent on our investment to begin with volatility is going to be high but that's i mean that's high for abv it's not high for these other stocks that we look at mm-hmm. let's let's go with the 147 let's go with the 147 right there let's look to one contract let's try to get a buck 13 on that, a buck 13, $14,700 in collateral. We'll see if that fills. And it does. So there's $113, and it's a nine day trade. We'll watch that, see how that, uh, what that does for us. And we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking for opportunities. This, you know, these are dangerous trades when you have an asset that's down nearly two and a half percent for the day then when you're selling a put which obligates you to buy it at fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars that is a risk that is a big risk and our probability um, is about 74 percent right now so we'll keep an eye on that because if we can stay up here if this if abv goes green on us the next couple of days, the next few days, then our profit is going to start to look real good on the AVV on just the put. Because we don't care if we own it at that price or not. Um, We'll just keep the money if we don't. Otherwise, we'll take the shares and then turn around and sell some covered calls because we'll be doing the wheel of fortune, trying to collect dividends, collecting premiums, and a little bit of uh, share value appreciation, share price appreciation. We've got about 28 minutes left in the day, and we're down just 0.18% on the S&P, half a percent on the Dow, and the NASDAQ, which was green, is now basically unchanged right there. In fact, let's look at that. At, let's look at that QQQ that we have on the board for Friday, that QQQ credit spread. It's a call credit spread. It's at 93% in the money, in the profit right there, plus 70. What did we collect on that when we traded it? We collected $75. We could probably get it filled right now and just get out of this trade for now. It says a low likelihood, five contracts. Um so we would close that, pay the $5 to close it. Am I expecting a credit or a debit? A debit. It will release the $2,000 in collateral. And then that trade will be off the table at almost all full profit, right? So let's see if that thing fills and we close it out, pay five bucks to do so and live to trade another day. We'll leave that on for the minute, for the moment. See what happens there. I will check back with you. You know, I probably won't check back today because it's already two, three, four. It's two, three, four in the afternoon. Kid three will be home soon. 
We'll probably go on over to the gym. And guess what? I got great news. Coco. Coco will be home tomorrow. Kid 2, Maya Coco. She has a final exam at, I think, 1 p.m. And then she'll be driving up from Purdue. Boiler up. And I miss my Coco. Can't wait to see her. Give her a big hug and kiss. But then uh, then her and Lady Tanzalot, they leave Saturday for Mexico. So Maya has a different spring break than kid three. So I'll be here. Him, him and I will be just tearing the place, tearing the house apart, drinking beers. <laughs> He's only 15. That's illegal. No, he won't. He can watch me drink beers, though. So Coco coming home tomorrow. Looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to sharing some more videos with you as we go. Because we're becoming, you know what, best friends in stocks, options, and dividends. Make sure you are a subscriber that you indeed like this video, leave me a comment, and the cues are going up, so this isn't going to be filled right now. We'll just check back with it again tomorrow because this will expire. This order will expire today when the bell tolls. So there we go. See you in the next video.